something I wanted to mention throughout the video was basically whenever y'all are sick and you're trying to get through a diet or something like that, unless you are specifically cutting for like a show, like if you're going to compete in a bodybuilding show or something like that, then I would highly recommend. Alrighty, what is going on y'all? Hope y'all are having a good one. Hope y'all had a good holidays. Hope y'all are about to have a good new year. Today we're gonna to be going over basically just full day eating and how I basically treat myself whenever I get sick during a cut slash diet. So for me personally, I've noticed whenever I'm dieting, I definitely get sick way more often than I normally do. And I think it's mostly due to the fact that your body's kind of already struggling with the amount of calories you're on. So it doesn't have excess kind of energy to fight off as many, you know, diseases, not diseases, but, you know, fight off stuff like a common cold or if you get the flu, stuff like that. So basically for me, one of the most important things whenever I get sick, whenever I'm going on a diet is it's really important. Like you guys have to understand it sucks and it definitely is not fun, but you do have to, in my opinion, as long as you're not rushed to do anything, up your calories to maintenance for at least until you're no longer sick, or at least you're no longer see, feeling the symptoms of, of being sick. So, you know, if you, I don't know if y'all know what I mean, but there's like that feeling, almost like a, you can almost taste it. It's fucking nasty. It's like a nasty sickness you can feel. And uh, so just until you're starting to feel better, up your calories a little bit. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to set back all your progress, but it will help your body kind of jump start itself back into feeling better. So the rest of the video, just be going over basically my workout that I did. It took me a couple days. Going to go over my lunch, breakfast, all that good stuff. So I'll talk to you guys whenever I get to the gym here in a little bit. What is going on, y'all? Just got to the gym. I'm on my lunch break at work. There's fucking nobody here. Hopefully, it's actually open. We're gonna find out. But today is pretty much gonna be a really light shoulder day. I'm still sick. I uh, probably said this earlier in the video, but got a cold Christmas Eve and it's still fucking bugging me. So, gonna do real light. Try not to go too hard. I still need to get more rest. Try and focus and recover as much as I can. But for now, I'm gonna go do a light exercise or light shoulder day and then see how I feel after that. And then it's back to work and then I'll probably come back later tonight for cardio. We'll see how I feel. So I will see y'all in there. All right, well, I'm back sooner than expected. So it turned out the gym was closed, even though online it said it was open and like on the front door it said that it was open, but there's nobody fucking in there. So I am now back at the apartment. I'm going to walk down to the apartment gym. It's kind of shitty, but uh, it should be fine for a light workout. So I will see you guys there as long as it's not too fucking busy.
is going on y'all back from the gym my mic's probably gonna sound weird because i left my regular mic that i use at my parents house so i gotta go back and grab that at some point but just got back from the gym feeling pretty shitty not gonna lie i was really hoping that a workout would help me feel a little bit better but didn't really do shit now i just kind of feel worse so gotta get back to work here soon but going to make some dinner slash lunch and yeah I'll go from there Alright y'all, that is going to be it for this one. Sorry, it's a little bit short of a video. Not really feeling too great. Hopefully these upcoming ones, I'll start feeling a little bit better. As the day went on, I kind of had a, low, had a low period and then now I'm back to feeling a little bit better. Voice still sounds a little fucked, but hopefully it gets better. This is one thing when it comes to, something I wanted to mention throughout the video was basically whenever y'all are sick and you're trying to get through a diet or something like that, unless you are specifically cutting for like a show, like if you're going to compete in a bodybuilding show or something like that, then I would highly recommend taking a diet break. Don't go off the fucking walls and just start, you know, shoving donuts in your mouth. But for the most part, up your calories a little bit. Make sure your body has enough calories to actually fuel yourself at a regular point. So just go up to maintenance calories if you're on a diet, which is what I did. And I think it helps a lot better than constantly being in a depleted state where your body already doesn't have enough nutrients for your body to kind of hold on to your body mass so would highly recommend trying to go move the calories up it sucks because you do kind of it is just a diet break where it's going to add an extra week to whatever you were doing but it just kind of is what it is and if you want to get better faster start getting back to having good gains at the gym or being able to just have a good workout at the gym like i did this you know real short shoulder workout and i push and i felt pretty shitty so if you really want to get back to peak performance as fast as possible up those calories still eat clean don't just dirty bulk or you know start like i said throwing down donuts or some shit like that but get those calories up i can guarantee y'all that it's going to help you get better faster than if you're trying to get better while being on a strict diet it's not going to kill you again the only exception to this is if you're like competing for a show and that's basically it so I will catch you guys in the next one. Hope y'all had a good, hope you guys had some good holidays, whether you celebrate Christmas or not. Just hope y'all had a good time and look forward to the new year. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.